Hey guys, Josh RV Nerd here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head comparison in what sort of wheel checks will actually get you the most stability, and is it a case of you get what you pay for? So we're going to try out three different things today, but understand that this is not very scientific. This is not all-encompassing comprehensive across the entire industry. It's just a couple things I found on the shelf that I thought I'd compare for you very quickly. And these are the uh, widgets in question today. So there are, you know, your traditional little plastic wheel checks. They're, I don't know, just a couple bucks a piece. I got a feeling that these are going to feel good at first. I think they're going to slide and wiggle a little bit as we go. Then there's this weird, goofy contraption right here called a wheel stop. And I think anybody can look at that and see that it's really just attempting to be sort of the dollar cheaper version of a full on X check. But every now and then you're pleasantly surprised by the dollar cheaper version. Just because it's less expensive doesn't necessarily mean it's less effective. So I'm really curious. This is the one I'm the most curious about. And what I suspect is that the moment that I slap one of these things on that Winnebago behind us that we just saw right there, I think it's going to take almost all the play and wiggle out of it. But naturally, it's the heavier and more expensive option here. But my estimation is it's pretty much going to be a get what you pay for kind of scenario. So we're going to start with just the cheap plastic wheel checks. They're only a couple bucks a piece. You can get a couple, you can get a bunch, you can use anywhere from two to, I don't know, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those things. Oh, you could use more if you have a triple axle. But anyway, what I've done is I've got two on each side of one tire here and two on each side of one tire over here. So I've tried to, and I'm going to do this in every demonstration. I'm going to set up both sides of the trailer the same. I'm not just going to do one side or the other. So very unscientifically, I'm just going to wiggle around this thing. A little bit of, little bit of wiggle action. Initial first impression, <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy with it. But I've only been wiggling this thing for like two seconds. I suspect that for a longer weekend, wiggling around more in here, I could see the chocks start to sort of shig, uh, shiggle, <laughs> shift and wiggle out of position a little bit. That being said though, for maybe at most 16 to $32, depending on how many of these you felt like getting, if you don't mind just walking over and just sort of kicking it back in place a little bit, these would probably be fine. And that doesn't surprise me. They're inexpensive, they're simple, but they're effective as long as you're willing to give them a little kick every now and then. Kind of like, you know, me and my wife if I were the wheel chock and she were the kicker. <laughs> so first impression on these wheel stops. Initially, I wasn't really impressed trying to set one up. They uh, basically, both yellow sections can spin so that you can get them as far or as close as you need them. The thing is, the rod that uh, allows them to expand and shrink to whatever position you want, it is like barely big enough to fit this trailer. The picture makes it look like you're gonna have all sorts of extra screw thread left over. That ain't the case. I barely had any left over, but I had enough. So I don't wanna, it, do, it doesn't matter if I had too much. It matters that I had enough. And that's what counts, I guess. So my initial impression wasn't good, but when I thought about it, I was like, well, you know what? It's fine. There's really nothing wrong with it. Then I got in here, and this thing, this is rock steady, guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How about that? Maybe the dollar cheaper option is going to be the pound for pound winner here. I don't know. We still got to check the X tracks out, but overall, I'm pretty surprised here. Now, they're plastic, so they may be a little more susceptible to weathering, high sun exposure. Those are things the X tracks themselves aren't going to suffer from. But for a casual camper like me, <laughs> wow, I I mean there's a notable difference here and for a lot less money than a set of x shocks Now keep in mind, any of these things that you're seeing in this video, there's a link down in the video description that'll take you to our online parts store. If you like what you see here, just click the link and you can have the stuff sent right to your front door. It doesn't matter if you're not a local customer, we could still have stuff right in your backyard. Okay, so setting up the x shocks definitely took the longest amount of time but it's not like it took a great amount of time. And especially if you're gonna stay someplace for an extended weekend once, it's not like it took so long that it really put me out or anything like that. Like it wasn't uh, an offensive amount of loss of time. They've got a good feel to them. You know, being stainless steel one, they just, they've got a good feel when you pick them up, you're like, yes, this is gonna feel good. This is gonna feel solid. Mechanically, everything works really sound on them. You know, the way that the, uh, the little feet cup the tires as you can kinda 
see up here maybe a little bit. It, 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 like, it gives you a lot of confidence when you're setting this up. Now, the one thing I know is if you really crank that sucker, you can actually start to put a little bit of a depression in the tire. So I think you could actually over crank them if you're not careful. That being said, in terms of stability in here, <laughs> I almost feel guilty to say this. I feel weird saying it. I don't know that I really feel too much of a significant difference here between the wheel stop cheaper version of these. So like I said, I think what it's going to kind of boil down to, because this is again, not scientific. This is not comprehensive. This is just a quick one, two, three, in and out, let's go check this out kind of thing. I think that if I was going to be in an RV a lot, if I was going to be traveling, touring, camping a lot, I'd probably still go with the X-Jocks just because I feel like they wouldn't be as inclined to wear out. But for a person like me who just kind of casual camps, I think option number two, the wheel stop, would actually be a really like the, the pound for pound winner for a guy like me. That being said, if you're just, eh, we camp a little bit, I eh, just, I don't need to get flashy. I don't want to lose things. I don't want to leave things. I don't want to care if it gets broken. Get the cheapy little wheel chucks, kick it real hard, or get like a rubber mail and really thump it in place under those tires, and that'd probably work for you. So again, there's a link in the video description. You can have any of those things shipped right to you straight from our warehouse at Halet RV. And short of that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.